this story is complex in its connections with other stories. First of all, it is a commentary on the mission of the Twelve and then the death of John the Baptist. It is also the introduction to the feeding of the 5,000 and Jesus walking on the water, which concludes then with <clears throat> the healings in Gennesaret. Overall, the spirit of this story, as uh, edited by the uh, editors of the lectionary, is one of high enthusiasm and of the energy of Jesus for people who are in need. But it is important to identify those connections because they determine the spirit of what is being told. So the first sentence describing the disciples coming back and reporting all that they had done and taught is full of their enthusiasm about the success of their first missionary journey. And it has that spirit of uh, young men who are just, whew, all right, full of energy about what they've accomplished. The second Jesus response to it can be told, I think appropriately, as a response to the death of John the Baptist. So the disciples are wildly enthusiastic. Jesus, on the other hand, is very sober because he recognizes the reality of what is ahead for him. He proposes that they have a retreat and that they go off by themselves for a while. As they go, the people recognize them. And like a group of kids running to the park, they recognize who Jesus is, and they all run to the place where he's going. Now, the picture of this that would have been known to those who heard the story is that Jesus and the disciples in the boat were going across a corner of the Sea of Galilee from the area that was settled around Capernaum across to the north and the east to where there was a wilderness area where there were no people at all. And so... What is implied in the story is that they recognized where Jesus was going and ran to get there ahead of him so that when he came on shore, there was this huge crowd. The second part of the story is the summary of what has happened throughout all of the healings in these chapters of Mark, which follows the story of the feeding of the 5,000 and Jesus walking on the water. It is a brief summary of the wild enthusiasm of people in the region of Gennesaret, which is also in that same corner of the Sea of Galilee, and specifically is on the west bank of the Sea of Galilee, somewhat south of Capernaum. The story is one of people you know, bringing all their sick to Jesus and laying them out in the marketplaces. And just as the woman who had had a flow of blood for 12 years touched his garment and was made well, so also all the people who touch his garment in the villages and towns, they also are made well. This reflects the traditions of the divine men of antiquity, of the great healers, in which the power of the divine is present even in his garment. And so Jesus doesn't have to do anything other than simply walk by, and his power to heal is present even in his clothes. The overall impact of this story is of delight and sheer enthusiasm about the energy of the Holy Spirit that is present in Jesus' very being. Well, my suggestion would be that you tell this story with that kind of 
enthusiasm, uh, energy, and life. This is one of the climactic sections of the Gospel of Mark in relation to Jesus' uh, miraculous deeds.